mister. Oh, hey, Fred. You boys don't look so fresh. We ain't. I think we're dying, Fred. We ate some bad mushrooms. Bad business. Sure. It's been real tough, partner. So it seems. I hate to ask, but we need some medicine. Kind of fast. Medicine? Yeah, look at us. Look at me. And he's worse than he looks. Oh. Uh -oh. And he looks like shit. He ain't gonna last three days. And me? I ain't well. Not at all. Not at all. I'm I'm begging you, partner. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, why? Uh, I told you it'd help us. Uh, I told you. I told you, did I? You did. You told me. You told me a lot of things. We're gonna be all right, buddy. Are we? Well, physically. Drink this. I'll give it to Black first. No, no, no. I'll no, give it to White. No, He's... no. You... Drink this. You Take shut it. up. <sighs> Thank you. Oh. oh, that's good stuff. Ooh. Now listen, I reckon you boys should get on out of here. Maybe split up. Head off up north or overseas. They don't like groups of men. I know. I hear you, boss. It's time. Yeah. Oh, once we're better. Oh, yeah, well, I agree. I mean, I, I, I can't wait to be rid of you. Embarrassing. Embarrassing? Yeah, you're an embarrassment. Well, uh, be embarrassed no more. Uh, Get back to where folks like you, and I'll go where they like me. Uh, oh, I shall. Oh, shut up, will you? <laughs> With pleasure. Uh, thanks again. We'll be we'll be fine now. Good boy. Hey, boy.
Okay, boy. Hello there. Whoa! What the Easy now. Whoa, whoa! Quite a view. Uh-huh. You know, this landscape, these views, this America, it holds us tight. And once we've seen it, we'll never know ignorance again. Maybe. It is that beauty, which really is the eternal beauty that is truth. This is God. Not the proof, but the thing. Not his work, but him. 
Wonderment is our morphine, I suppose. All us Americans dream of places. They are our god. Our dreams. Us, perhaps. I suppose. Forgive my crude naivete, but are you a cowboy, sir? Not really. Kind of. I am that most worthless of all creatures. A writer. A second guesser of our creator. A dreamer of others' dreams. Okay. Evelyn Miller. Evelyn Miller? A man I knew. He was a great lover of your books. Thank you. But you're not? Most went a little over my head, I'm afraid, but some of the bits he read stuck with me. I'm a terrible fraud, sir. Your friend was deceived. I am God's blithe plaything. And what a feeble game he has begun in me. My mentor never saw things quite like that. You know, I used to write in a study and teach at a university. I taught some Connecticut fops how best to appreciate their topiary. I was a gilded ape. I loathe the man I was. The man I am. Uh, guess we all live with certain ways of coping with what we've done in this life. I enjoyed our conversation. There's a truth in you, sir, a rare truth. Treasure it. I'm, I, I'm living in a cabin over near Tanner's Reach. Uh, come by sometime. Maybe we might talk some more. Maybe I shall. Good day. Please, if you'd leave me to write. I'm just a homesteader looking for a patch. I You're gonna get it now! We've seen worse. Sir?
All right, little feller. Okay, boy. You good? Hey there. Good evening, sir. How's it going? I'd be better if I had a wife. Too bad. Keep your chin up. Hey, you all right, mister? Can we, uh, can we help you? I'm fine. Oh, I know you two. Hey, hey look who it is. Oh. <laughs> I barely recognize you boys on account of you not trying to kill each other. Yeah, well, somebody learned his manners, finally. So you boys didn't run away? Now, nobody looking out here. I reckon we're, we're okay. All right, but the law's pretty... Well, it's pretty vigorous these days. I told you we should leave, but did you want to listen? Oh, no. Mr. Hind Mighty, he don't listen to no oh, one. Oh, would you just shut up? I will not. Uh, I will not shut up. You know what? You'll shut up when I shut you up. Oh, that's real funny. I cannot believe it. I'm stuck out here with only you to talk to. I get a better conversation from the goddamn trees. I know. I've seen you talking to them. They should have hanged you for being a moron. You're an unkind man, Mr. Black! Hey. Oh, let me in. Let... Let me in! Open the door! Come on, let me in! I'll kill you myself! Go away! Let me in! I... I'm sorry! Okay, I'm sorry! Now let me in! Go away! I'm so... I'm... I'm... I'll make dinner again. I right, am I'm, I'm sorry. Say you're sorry again. I'm real sorry.
head off. Oh, God damn it. Easy, boy. Easy. My, my, the reticent cowboy. Hello? I, you never told me your name. Jim, no. John Marston. Which? John Marston. Long story. I'm a writer. I love stories. Ah, <laughs> uh, another time. Guess I'm as big a fraud as you claim to be. I'm trying, John. My wife didn't understand. Doesn't understand. The parish priest has taken to writing me missives about the exact nature of my sins. The parish priest! Can you imagine? Oh, what a petty-minded lot they are. I was attracted by my fraudulent fame, by the idea of me as some kind of provincial seer. Oh, it makes me sick. But here, I live like a man. I'm feeble, but alive. <laughs> I'm a man! For the first time in my life, I'm a man. Okay. Or... I'm still a coward, but a real man would happily die rather than live as I do. Uh, I don't know about that. We... We're all scared of something. Something within us. But me? I'm nothing but fear. Fear and doubt and lies. Just a glimpse of how other men have coped and lived and survived and flourished. There are days when I sit here and weep about all the things that I've lost. We've lost, we true Americans, we peasants. We are killing this place, John Marston. Killing what? This, this great beauty, this truth. What are you talking about? Come, let me show you. Where are we headed? Prepare to be shocked. Come along, follow me. 
Unless you're showing me Bigfoot, you should know. <laughs> I'm not so easily shocked, Mr. Miller. But you will be. Wait until you see the waste, the boundless appetites of these men. I know you will be horribly shocked because I see that frontier spirit in you. The self-reliance, the harmony with nature that us, us modern men have so lamentably lost. I hate to spoil your impression of me, but I've been known to eat from a can. Oh no, up there, the poor creature is caught in a bear trap. John, can you do something? Uh, let me see. Cruelty of it. If you could pry Easy it Easy there. Let me try and get you out of this. Those contraptions. They Come are unforgiving on. and indiscriminate. You did it. It's free. A second chance at life. Maybe. As long as that wound don't go bad. <sighs> Still, better to die free than in the jaws. Now, come on. We have further to ride. Come on! The men I'd like to show you, they could have set that trap. Hunters? I've seen hunters, sir, and like I said, I've been one myself. Hunting for food or skins is one thing, but dredging rivers, burning out forests, killing everything you find, and leaving all but the most valuable parts to rot, that is who these men are. They are the rapaciousness of our financial markets let loose in the wilderness. A sign that our way of life has come to an end. You men are heathens! A noble savages! Animals! Shit, look! Look at what What's you... What's your problem? You... Hey! Try that again! was clarity, John. <laughs> this, this place, this is heaven and hell. The duality. I think you got hit on the head. Come on, let's get you out of here before more of them show up. But I think we've made our point. Now, come on, let's go.
One more time, boy. Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller, you about? Hello, sir. I'm working, I'm afraid. Okay. I'm desperately trying to finish my book. It's absolute tripe, you know, but it's all I've got left. Well, I'm... I'm not eating, drinking liquor, or leaving this cabin until this draft is complete. Okay. I feel amazing. <laughs> Aside from the doubt and self-loathing, but I've seen a great beauty, John. Okay. You take care of yourself. Get yourself something to eat. I can't fight my own nature. None of us can. I brought you some food, Mr. Miller. Thank you, John. I'll get it in a moment. Francis Brea rescued. Sir Galsworthy put down his sword. I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? <laughs> what's for dinner? Away with you, you no good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. Hey, John. Abigail. Sadie. Charles. I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering a woman. Been seen drinking in strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Micah. But I gotta go now. You coming? No. He's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm begging you. No! You risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? All this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, and all the folks that fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real than... than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please! <laughs> Let's go kill this son of a bitch, then. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on. Let's get to Strawberry before he dries out. Which one of Mike's boys is it? Cleet. Which one was Cleet? The big one or the little one? The one with the rat face. My memory is they both had rat faces. The little bastard with the rat face, then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. Damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. You think Arthur cared about revenge? I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah. And that's what we're doing. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Hell, nowadays I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north, Canada, find a woman, start a family if I can. I see how that life, well, I'd like to try it. Ooh, hey, John, you're giving him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking I might get out of here, too. Down South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine, but we got some business to take care of first. Okay, Strawberry, this is it. We leave our horses by the bridge, then we find it. Charles, you take the other side of the river. I'll stay on this boat. If we meet in the middle, we would have covered most of the town. If he's here, we'll get him. Okay, let's go. There. Cleek! Hey, Cleek! Been a while. Shit. Stop that man! He's wanted for hey. murder! Hey, stop! I'll stop. head him off! Can't escape us, Clee! Ain't no point in trying! Come here, friend! He huh? got past! Look at that! Hello, Clee! Remember us? Joe, you gonna take a turn? Hey, 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 we're all buddies, ain't we? Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Where's Micah? Micah! Micah! Why ain't seen him? Where's Micah? I don't know. I ain't seen him. We fell out. And you know what? I'm bored of this. Let's hang the bastard. What? Good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. Damn you! <laughs> Don't dig your heels in. Drag him over here. Oh, my neck. Quit squirming. Uh, I, I swear. You heard the lady. Get up there. Stop. No, you stay away. Move. Listen to me. No. Keep moving. Come here, you bastard. Move it! Come on, move! Here, I want you stood right here! Still! All right, string the no-good murder bastard up. Let's try this again. Where's Mike? Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie! It ain't my fault! He tried to kill me! Where's Micah? 
talk! Or I'll pull this lever! Talk! Talk! No, 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 no! No, wait, 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 wait. He, He's up in the mountains. I think he's... He's up in Mount Hagen. He got a whole gang now. Bad man. Doing bad things. I, I tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Honest. Please, I'm... I'm one of the good guys. <sighs> Hang him. No. No. There ain't no need. Uh, I can't do it, Sadie. Not like this. Thank you. Thank you, John. No, 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 no. Come on now. You won't ever see me again. I said hang him. As you wish. Oh, Jesus. Piece of shit. Well done. Let's move on. Come on! The little rat said Mount Hagen! One less criminal in the world. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. Maka, we're coming for you. Yeah! up into the high mountains. Lead the way. There's an old watchtower up there they might be using for a camp. There must be a sniper. Get it covered, quick. You alive, Charles? Don't be careful. Where is this bastard? You're okay. You're okay. I will be. Go on now. Move fast. They'll come down that hill and kill us all. Come on, John. I don't want to leave him. Hey, they know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just... I just can't move fast. Okay. Come on, John. Shit.
your hands off her! <laughs> You don't look too fine. Come on! You're bleeding pretty bad. It ain't nothing. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Just go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. I'll be up Look there who it is. in a minute. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? But I got something to take care of. Here for my gun! 